Hello my friends and welcome to the Imagine Crafts YouTube channel. My name is Katie Ingram and I'm one of the new guest artists here at Imagine Crafts for 2021. For today's project I'm going to show you how to create this simple eye-popping masculine valentine's card. Let's get started. So some of the products I'm going to be using today are the Memento inks in Paris Dusk, Nautical Blue, and Teal Zeal. And I've got the Deco Heart die from Simon Says Stamp. We're going to make our own gold metallic uh, paper using some Delicata ink. And I'm going to be using that heart cutout as well with the watercolor paper that's there. And I'm, I've got a couple other stamp sets here. I've got the UR background stamp set that, or background stamp that I'm going to be using with some. Uh, Silvery Shimmer Delicata ink, and I'm also going to be using that um, You Have My Heart uh, stamp sentiment from Mama Elephant. And everything is going to be listed in the uh, description box below. I'm pointing out I'm using some hot press watercolor paper. It's uh, some of my favorite to do ink blending on. And I've got a sheet of um, 80 pound Gina K white layering cardstock to create my uh, gold paper. And then I'm, my card base is going to be made an A2 side folding with uh, Nina Classic Crest 110 pounds. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our gold paper. That, um, because it's pigment ink, it's gonna take some time to dry, so we wanna get that uh, started first so it can set off and dry while we work on everything else. So I, I'm just taking my ink pad. I did have to re-ink it. Um, and, and I'm just applying the ink to the piece of paper. And I'm just checking to make sure I got enough space. And that's going to get set off to dry. Here I'm showing you that I'm going to be cutting out that watercolor paper with that open heart. And now I'm moving on to the uh, background with the card base using the silver delicata ink. So I'm just going to ink up that background stamp and my um, silvery shimmer ink pad is not totally um, wet and saturated. It is a bit dry which is actually good for background and uh, text um, because it is a sponge. Sometimes you get a little heavy-handed. I do at least and you'll see that um, once I stamp this out that there's some some text that's a little bit darker than the than other spots but it's very similar to a typewriter text the old school typewriter so it actually looks like it was typed on so um, I'm just using a dry erase eraser to apply pressure uh, just so it gets I get as much even pressure as I can for that background stamp and there's one little sm spot that I miss, and so I just give it a good press. And now we're gonna move on to the fun part, which is ink blending. So I'm gonna start off with the Teal Zeal, and um, using the Imagine Craft Mat, it holds your paper or cardstock really well. So it's just kind of habit for me when I do any type of ink blending to have something to hold it down. If you don't have the Imagine uh, Craft Mat, like I'm working on here, um, anything will work, but use a ruler, something to hold it in place. One, it keeps your fingers off and out of the ink so you don't have those impressions. And two, it really does help to stabilize um, whatever you're ink blending on so that uh, it doesn't move around on you. So next I'm moving on to the nautical blue and I'm just trying to make a gradient effect uh, with the the blue inks and I just go back and forth so I love watercolor paper and ink blending because it really is very easy to do. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of effort. You don't have harsh splotches of ink. Um, you do have to layer it on uh, because it, with, especially with the blending brushes uh, or the, you know, these bristled brushes like makeup brushes, the ink goes on a lot softer, um, which isn't a bad thing because then you can get up to the color that you want, especially if you're wanting to have a lighter area. Um, you don't have to worry that you're not going to get that um, 
you know, by using watercolor paper. I know a lot of people use Bristol Smooth and I uh, have tested that out. Um, and I just like the way that the hot press watercolor paper works for me. So then um, I go in back and forth between the nautical blue and the teal zeal. And now I'm using literally a straight up makeup brush. This is uh, from a makeup set that I, brush set that I have that I don't ever use and thought why not use it for my ink blending and it works beautifully. Um, but for that color that I come in with the Kabuki brush is the Paris Dusk and I just again I keep going back and forth just to uh, get the right color. The only downside to the Kabuki style brushes is the bristles are a little bit more flexible. They're not they're dense because you know you you do use them to apply makeup, but they have a little bit more flow to them um, when you're trying to ink blend, which isn't a bad thing, but it's just if you go and use them, it's something to keep in mind. So to deepen up the tip of that. Uh, the heart. Um, I'm just coming in with my Versafine Claire Twilight and again using another makeup brush that's a little bit more, I think it's called a round kabuki. Um, and then I just keep going back and forth until I get the color gradient that I want and making sure that I keep that light bit down at the bottom. Um, it just, you, it really is just a back and forth between all your colors. So the blending's done. Now I've gone through and I've die cut my piece of gold paper with my Deco Heart um, die cut. And I'm poking out all the little bits and pieces. Uh, it is very delicate. Uh, so you just got to be careful when doing it. And I've used some liquid glue to uh, put on the back of that. And I did dab it off um, just so I wouldn't have tons of it seeping out uh, in the little gaps. And then I went and on a piece of uh, cardstock, I t uh, stamped the You Have My Heart in the Versafine Claire Twilight and popped that up on a piece of foam. And now I'm just centering the heart onto that card panel. And that's going to wrap up the card for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and do that now. And don't forget to ring the bell and select all notifications. That way you'll be notified each time a video has been uploaded to the channel. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you in the next video.